streets here on Joburg today and in a new feature to our coverage of the city, every week my colleague Noshina Mohammed will take a Joburger for a cab ride. They'll discuss serious issues while enjoying the landscape and scenery of this incredible city. And in Cab Talk Extra, you too can be a part of the conversation. Write to us, tell us more about yourself and where you are. We may just get Noshina to come pick you up. For now, if you're already thinking about how you're going to burn off those Christmas calories, you may be able to do it without having to put on your running shoes. That's the nice thing about yoga, is that there's so many different styles and there's so many different personalities of different teachers, um, so that everyone can find a, a style or a, person or a teacher that they really enjoy. Um, you know, right from little old ladies doing nice breath work to a very hardcore power yoga class. Um, it doesn't matter how old you are, what weight you are, how much fitness level you have, everyone can find yoga that suits them. You might need to try a few places before you find that, but it's, it's absolutely out there for everyone. Well, a lot of it is the breath work that we use within our yoga practice, which is called pranayama. Um, and we use something called ujjayi breath in our yoga class. This is what creates the moving meditation aspect of yoga. If you're doing yoga without pranayama, it's just a form of exercise. Whereas if you're using the pranayama with your asana, which is the physical practice, it creates a meditative space. So that at the end of the class, you're not just working out the muscles and getting your blood pumping, you're also actively relaxing your brain and getting rid of stress and tension that builds up in the body. That was an incredible workout. We really worked up a sweat today. For me today was a great opportunity to reconnect with yoga, something I've personally neglected over the last few years. Do yourself a favor, give yoga a shot in 2014. It's a gift you can give to yourself. Om Shanti, Namaste. Hey, my name is Kamohelo. You're watching Joe Beck today. House sitting has become quite the business in Johannesburg, as one entrepreneur tells us. It's not that easy to bring somebody into your home and trust them. Um, so there's a lot of uh, rules and regulations that go with it. It's not just I'm coming to stay in. It's here to actually give you a proper service to know that you are at peace of mind. More demanding is obviously your December times, your holidays, and when you look into the middle of the year from June to July. So the people that I recruit, um, it's, it's basically through um, advertising. I do advertise uh, for them to contact me. Then they send me their CV with an ID and references. I then meet up with them, uh, discuss everything with them, and from then I take a background check and I look into them, you know, from criminal records to everything. I can't just put somebody in a home and say, I trust you. So it is difficult, and with, the, with those rules and regulations, I have to follow with all the people that I do recruit. What I think an ideal house sitter um, characteristic should be is somebody that's quiet, um, not noisy. He needs somebody that is going to respect somebody's space. They must remember this is not their, their home, their space. They need to treat it as they are with the utmost care. The people that typically sign up, um, a lot of them are couples um, that you know are looking to, to have their little getaway. Um, so that, that sometimes I look into. But a lot of people do only want a single person staying where they're not going to be rowdy and stuff like that. So I look at more of middle age um, school leavers. I, you know, depending on what my clients would prefer, they, I do let them meet with the, with the people I recruit so they are comfortable. I've actually, I started this a year ago, not knowing it would actually lead to being something so big and thinking people would actually need house sitters and it just developed. It was basically from word of mouth and I've just grown and it's just taken off. This is in Tavi Singh and this is Joe Rick today.
And that is it for Joburg today. But as always, all questions, comments and feedback are welcome. Let's connect on social media. Follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today. Give us likes on Facebook, joburgtoday.tv. And you can also follow me on Twitter. That's at Christine J Today. We play out today's show with Hide and Seek by Jen Kinsella. Have a Merry Christmas. Back in ETV. Hi everyone, welcome back to Balcony TV Johannesburg. I'm your host, Al Franco, and we are on the balcony of, you guessed it, Randlords. And this is a special, special video, because we are in Johannesburg, but we have a wee Irish lass joining us. <laughs> welcome, Jennifer. Thanks very much. Yeah, Paddy's Day tomorrow, go on. <laughs> how, how fitting. St. Paddy's Day here in South Africa tomorrow. Mm, yeah. Awesome. Okay, yeah. so what track are you going to play for us? Uh, it's a new song. It's called Hide and Seek. I didn't see. Yeah, oh, please take it away, Jennifer. Oh. I look forward to it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. But don't let the little things I say and do change the way that you, but that you feel for me. Well, I know, I know there's everybody else But I keep the best part of myself for you, for you I, I do I do you. If this is a game of fight and seek, come find me Give up. Baby. 